Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at creating custom milestones for The Sims 4 Growing Together. Recently, Zerbu made a tweet that they updated the mod constructor. So you'll need the current version, which is beta 11. And you can download that here. Once you've downloaded the mod constructor version 11 and unzipped it, you can open the program and create your package. So I'm just going to call this custom milestone test and then click create mod. On the left hand panel, click add element and then on the right click on the milestone option. Here you can put a name for your element. So I'm just going to put became happy for mine. And then on the left hand structure click on the milestone and then on the right you'll see this panel so at the top zerbu provides you with different strings you can put in to have certain things show in the name and description so for example name here you can put this to show the target sims name now when i did my test when i put one it was blank but once i put zero it showed correctly so i'm going to use zero for this particular example so I'm going to put zero sim name. Became happy. And then I'll put the same thing. Reached the happiness buff. Okay, so that's your description. And then underneath it's provided that you can also have a contextless description and Zerber explains what that is here. Next, you can choose the icon. So this will show up in the panel and you can either use the images that are already available in the game or you can use custom images. For this particular example, I'm going to just pull from something that's already in the game. So I'll just click on the first icon here and then click select image. You can choose whatever you'd like. Next, select iterations. You can decide to check this option if you want it to be required for the goal to be met multiple times. So for example, if I wanted the sim to be happy three times before they got this milestone, I would click this and then change it to three. For this particular example, I'm going to leave it unchecked. Also, Zerbo has provided the option to show the location. So if you want to show if this, the milestone was reached in Willow Creek or San Manchuno, you can do that by clicking this checkbox. Next is the section to choose how this milestone is obtained. You can choose the main content section and then here where it says gold set, click this little icon on the right to open the editor and you can choose an interaction multiple sims in a certain emotion, relationship changes, sim goals, or travel goals. So if they go to a particular lot. For this particular milestone, we're going to use the sim becoming happy to get this milestone. So I'm going to choose sim condition. Then I'm going to click the icon next to no condition selected. And here you can choose your different types. So you can choose buffs, careers, emotions, relationships, all of these things can be chosen. I'm going to choose emotion for this particular example. And then for emotion, I'm going to click the icon and then I'm going to choose the mood happy. Okay, so now that I've done that, I can export my package. I'm going to show the other options first. I'm going to show you that in this section, milestone info, you can choose the drop down menu here. And this is where you can choose whether it will show up under the first section, life, social, or for toddlers and infants, they have particular sections that, that you can choose as well. You can choose if this milestone is repeatable. So for example, if you wanted to make a milestone for Sims woohooing and you wanted to show each time, you can click this checkbox. You can also show the target sim. So for example, in the game, there's a milestone for if you get married and it shows the sim you got married to. That's the target sim. 
actions don't complete. So, for example, if you want to have the Sims get a buff once this milestone is reached, you can choose this by creating an action, which we've covered in a previous video. And then from the action, you can create a buff. Now, if you'd like to see that process in in a, in a more advanced level, you can check my previous video where I cover that. You can also check to display when unlocked. So, for example, in the current game, if you have a milestone that you can reach that's not let, yet unlocked, it will show as gray. And checking this option will show that. Okay, so now, with that being said, we're ready to export the package. When I click on export package, I save it into my mods folder. And now I'm going to start up the game to see our example milestone. Okay, so now that I'm back in the game, I have a test family and I'm going to go to the milestone section. So here under milestones, we have the default games milestones that this sim has achieved. And here we have my test example that I created. Now you'll see here the name is showing correctly under the description, but in the title it's showing those symbols. So I suggest only putting the name in the description and not in the title. That way it will show correctly. And here's another test milestone. Now this sim got the milestone because they're happy. Let's go to another sim here. And you'll see they don't currently have the mood because or milestone because they're confident. Let's go ahead and use MC Command Center to change their mood. Okay, so now change their mood. And now again, my custom milestones are showing. Okay, so that's how you create your milestones. If you're interested in creating milestones to share with the community, there's actually a project going around where creators have gotten together and created a spreadsheet of milestones that are being created. And you may want to cross-reference that before you share yours. Uh, I'm going to share a link in the description. This is the spreadsheet here, and you'll see different creators have already claimed several of the milestones. So you can cross-reference this and you can then create your own. Great, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.